Okay guys, so step two of the process is to now resize your image sequence so that the size of each frame <coughs> better matches the video frame. If we don't do this, we'll be importing a large number of very large images into Photoshop and it could crash it quite easily. So if we resize them, we won't have that problem. The problem is if you've got hundreds of images, it could take a long time to resize each one. So let's do it using an automatic function that we have in Photoshop. So firstly, you need to open the, num the first image in your e image sequence, and we're just opening one image. So we'll go File Open, and here's my example here. So I'm just selecting the first image in the sequence and clicking open and there it is I'm just going to check the image menu image size and have a look yep and I can see that it's 2500 pixels wide by about 1900 pixels high so it's more than three times the size that it, we need it to be so I'll just close out of that window so to do this we're going to record an action and record the steps that we take so that we can then apply those steps to all of the images in the folder in the folder so firstly we need to open the actions panel so go to the window menu and choose actions and you'll see the actions panel fly up you may need to grab this bottom corner and drag it down so that you can see all of them or you could just close up the default actions folder there like that so we're going to create a new action and we're going to click the little actions panel menu button here here it is right there and choose new action and we can leave the name action one and hit record now after we hit record we have to be careful not to do any extra steps because everything that we do will be recorded in this action once we hit record so we can see here that uh, the record button is on and action one is highlighted so the first thing we're going to do is resize the image so go to the image menu image size and we're just going to downsample the image using the pixel dimensions fields here and let's just make the word 720 and that'll match our image size our video frame size pretty well so 720 and just hit OK and there we go we've resized our image and now we'll choose save and just get our JPEG options slide that up to 12 hit OK and finally file close so three steps in our action an image size and a save and then a close and we can hit stop now it's very important to stop the action recording all right now we're ready to apply this action to the entire folder not just one we've completed it on one image but we need to apply it to the entire folder so Photoshop can automate this process for us so come up to the file menu and choose automate batch and here we have the batch dialog open and we're set to action one and down here it says source folder and we need to choose the folder using the choose button and it's already pointing to my folder because I've just opened an image from it but if not you'll need to browse for your folder of images Okay, and we're choosing the folder, not the images. So click choose. And now just click OK. And Photoshop will go ahead and open every image in the folder. It will resize it and save it and close it. That close action is really important. If we didn't have that, it would leave the image open. And then we'd have a lot of images stacking up here in Photoshop and it would get slower and slower and slower until it finally ground to a halt.
So there we go. And if you've got a lot of images, this will take a minute or two, but you can see it's got through my 24 images fairly quickly there. So there we have it. We have automated the resizing of our images using actions. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Photoshop for video and to import your image sequence as a video file. And you'll be able to preview it and finally export it as a video file ready to upload to YouTube or Vimeo.